Good morning, babies, and welcome to Simply Stacy, where the joy of the Lord is our strength. Well, babies, I want to keep talking on this series about creating wealth, because so many people out here is seeking wealth. And I first want to let you know that wealth is just not money. I want to continue to reiterate that because wealth is also walking in good health and a sound mind. You know, got a loving family, got loving friends. You know, you're serving God. You're keeping his way and his will and being obedient to him that is wealth that is wealth but most people look at wealth as finances and that's the topic that I want to address but just know that you can have all the money in the world but if you don't have a sound mind and peace and joy and happiness you don't have wealth if your body is sick and you can't enjoy the money that's not wealth. So babies, you want all the wealth that God has to give you in every area of your life. That is wealth. Sound mind, sound body, and finances. So babies, I want to talk about the financial part. God said he gives us the power to get wealth. So seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and everything else will be added unto you. I tell you, I'm excited about this empowerment fest that I'm getting ready to be a part of this year. God wants to manifest some things in your life really quick. And the power fest is called exhilaration. So if you can come out and you want tickets, just inbox me and I will get you some tickets to the empowerment fest because you will be empowered. Your life will change. You will not be the same. My life has not been the same since the first empowerment fest that I went to. So babies, come on out and be blessed. But back to my topic just a little commercial in the middle of there that I didn't plan on doing but anyway babies God wants to bless you he wants to change your life he wants to bless you financially and abundantly but you need to know there's an assignment for your money what is the plan that God has planned for your money do you know he has an assignment for it. There's a place that he wants to put your money at. It's a place he wants to use you in so that your money will be valuable to somebody else out there that's in need. So you need to sit down and really ask God. Ask God, what is the plan that you have for my money? I Not just setting up wanting millions and millions of dollars, but don't have no plan for it. What's the purpose of giving it to you just to go out and waste? So God wants to change your mindset about the way that you think about money, the way that you go about getting money. You know, like I said, he gives you the power to get wealth, not you. So right now, most people think that it's me. It's in my strength. It's in my might. That whole way of mindset has got to change before you come into your wealth. You have to think a lot of wealthy people. They don't think about working for money. They think how money is going to work for them. That's just one example that has to change in your mind. You know, don't think that you're going to work for the money. Figure out how the money is going to work for you. All right, babies. I love you. And so does God. I'm going to continue to speak on this series and tell that God gives me that release that I have given out everything that he wants me to give. I know that most people's tent to span ain't that long. So that's why I don't go too long with it. But I'm going to give you some spiritual things and then I'm going to give you some natural things too that you can use to create wealth in your life. Some different steps that you can go through to start seeing changes in your financial situation. So babies, I love you and so does God. You have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Love you babies. Till we see each other again. Smooches.